Hey everyone, today we're going to go over a simple version of a popular Christmas song, Jingle Bells. We'll go through the chords used so that we're familiar and comfortable with using them, and then go into how the song is played, step by step, verse by verse, nice and slow and together. Now the first thing you want to do before you start playing is to be sure that your guitar is in tune. I suggest using a digital tuner so that you get in perfect tuning. Today's song is played in standard tuning, and another good thing that you should do before you start playing is cut your fingernails nice and short. This will avoid any unnecessary muting or buzzing of the strings while you're pressing your fingers down into the frets. Now, for ease of teaching, we're going to number our fingers so that when I explain to you which finger to put where on the neck to form a chord, you'll know exactly what I mean. So finger number one is our index finger, finger number two is our uh, middle finger, finger number three is an index finger, and then our pinky is going to be finger number four. Now let's move in to the first chord used in the song. Okay, so as I said, we're going to learn a simple version of this song, Jingle Bells, which only uses actually three chords. We're going to use a four finger G, or you can use a three finger G if you prefer. We're going to use a C chord, and a D chord. Now we'll go into detail what the G chord is comprised of. The next chord, G, uses only three fingers. You can use whichever three fingers is most comfortable for you to complete the chord. Okay, so as I said, we're going to use either the four finger G, which is how I like to play it personally, but I will actually teach it to you in the three finger G, because I think that's the way you're practicing G's right now. So we'll stick with what you know. So a three finger G is going to be our second finger put onto the second fret of the A string. Finger number three is going to go onto the third fret of the big E string. And then our pinky finger, pinky, finger number four, is going to come down here onto the third fret of the high E string. Okay? And there's our G chord. The next chord we're going to learn is the C chord. The next chord is a C chord. The C chord uses three fingers. Okay, so the C chord uses fingers number one, two, and three. We don't use finger number four. So what we'll do is we'll place finger number one down first. So we're going to put finger number one onto the first fret of the B string. Okay? Finger number two is going to come down here onto the second fret of the D string. And then finger number three is going to come onto the third fret of the A string. And there's our C chord. Okay? The next chord we're going to learn is the D chord. The next chord, D, uses only three fingers. Okay, so the D chord is going to be played on the top three strings, the high E, the B, and the G string. So we're going to use fingers number one, two, and three again. Finger number one is going to be placed onto the second fret of the G string. Finger number two is going to come down here onto the second fret of the high E string. And then finger number three is going to come down here onto the third fret of the B string. Okay? So all together, it should sound like this. Okay, now let's move into the two parts of the song, which are the verse and the chorus. Okay, so as we all know, the song starts out with uh, the, the vocals actually, they, they say, dashing through the snow. So the whole song starts on the G chord. Okay, or three finger G, like we said we were gonna do it. Okay, so this is what it should sound like in regular time. And then we're going to go back and we're going to play it nice and slow. So it's going to encompass a G, a C, a D, and then back to a G. And it will sound like this. So that's in regular time. So now let's play that nice and slow together. So again, it's a G, and then a, a C, and then to the D, and then back to the G. Now because we return to the G, the G is the last chord in the progression, and also the first. So you kind of have to stay on the G after you play it as the last chord in the progression, because he plays it again as the first chord in the progression. Okay? Okay, so on the count of three, we're going to do it nice and slow together. Okay? So here we go. One, two, three. To the C. To 
the D. To the G. To the C. Here we go. To the D. Back to the G. Okay. Now go back and give that a practice. We're going to move on to the chorus now. Okay, so in real time, it should sound like this. Okay, now I ended on the G chord there. That's actually not part of the chorus. That's how he goes back into the verse, okay? So again, it's a G chord, then a C chord, and back to a G chord, then a D. Now the switch between the C, G, D is relatively quick, so you're gonna have to practice it. But remember, he stays on that G for quite a long time, okay? Now let's play that together, nice and slow. Now, I will let you know when we have to switch to the C, but if you want, maybe sing in your head, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way, and then you'll know exactly when, he, when you start to sing the next line is when we switch to the C, okay? So on the count of three, let's do it nice and slow. One, two, three. To the C. To the G, to the D. Now we'll go back to the G again. Jingle bells. To the C, to the G, to the D. Okay? Now that is the verse and the chorus which is the only parts of the song. Great job, guys. Now practice that up. Hey, great job, guys, learning Jingle Bells. I bet your family's going to be pretty psyched up when you rip the guitar out and start playing and they didn't know you could. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you, don't forget to watch our other videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching, guys, and good luck.